Today, we're off to somewhere a little warmer. You'll be joining me for this flowy vinyasa at sunset on the beautiful island of Crete. When you're ready, grab your mat and we'll begin. To start, make your way to child's pose, sitting on top of the shins and then leaning your torso down over the legs, maybe taking a wider or narrower stance depending on what feels comfortable. Take one deep breath, start to pull your awareness into the present. On your next inhale, begin to roll forwards into tabletop, making those knees a little wider and exhale back to child's pose. Add a tiny wiggle back and forth, settling into that slightly wider position. Next inhale, reach the right arm up, thread it underneath the left, and either leave the left arm on the mat for stability or lift it off and hook that left hand underneath the right hip. Sink into that right shoulder, adding a little stretch for the back. Good from here to lift up both arms placed on top of the thighs and begin to cat-cow the spine. Inhaling forward, exhaling into that rounded back. Good, one more. And bring those arms down in front of you. Exhale to your child's pose. Again, wiggle back and forth. Then when you're ready, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath the right. An option to leave the right arm down or hook it behind the left hip. Find that stretch in the left arm, the left side of the back. Good. One more breath. And on the inhale, re-enter that kneeling position and add a few more cat-cows. Try and link the breath. Good, bring those hands back in front of you, enter child's pose, and then shift back and forth between child's pose and tabletop. Option to come up onto the toes here to get a little bit of a foot stretch. Good. This time enter plank on the inhale. Hold for a moment, engaging and waking up the core. Then on the exhale, lower through chaturanga with the knees down if you like. Come up onto the fingertips and inhale to either baby cobra or full cobra. Couple cobra waves just like that. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. And last lift and lower. Inhale, reach the arms overhead and lift the legs off the mat, squeezing all of the back muscles, the glutes and the legs. Then place those palms back down onto the mat. One more cobra. Next exhale, lift the hips up to downward dog. Next inhale, roll forward to your plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, roll forward, this time round the back a little. Exhale, bend the knees, arch the back. Inhale, round a little more, and exhale, arch a little more. Inhale, and exhale, back up. Inhale, last one, exhale, back. This time, inhale, reach that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands, and inhale, step forward to your halfway lift, sliding the hands up the legs. On the next exhale, fold down, relaxing the neck, relaxing the arms. Good, inhale, lift all the way up to mountain pose. Exhale, dive all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step both legs back, lower through chaturanga. Inhale to lift to upward dog. 
exhale downward dog good inhale a few more spinal waves round forward exhale back inhale forward and exhale back good last repetition then inhale lift the left leg up this time exhale step forward inhale halfway lift and exhale release into that forward fold bending the knees if you need to grabbing onto the elbows relaxing the neck One more inhale and long exhale here. Then inhale, roll all the way up to mountain. Reach the arms up and exhale, dive all the way back down. Inhale halfway, exhale, step or hop back to your chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog and exhale to downward dog. Begin to sway the hips back and forth. Then land them over onto the right side, finding a stretch in the left side of the body. And entering into side plank from here, basing yourself on the right hand, maybe lifting that left leg. From here, step the left leg forward or enter plank and then step it forward and windmill your way up to warrior two. Left toes facing forward, right toes facing the right side of the mat. Inhale to reverse the warrior and exhale, place the left forearm on the left thigh. From here, pivot down into lizard position. And next inhale, lift the left arm up. From here, bring that left hand down, framing the left foot and aim to extend the left leg but it is completely okay if you need to keep a bend in the knee. Smooth inhales and exhales as you stretch into the leg. From here, bend that right knee, bring it down to the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, grab onto the elbows, opening the chest and squeezing the glutes to press the hips forward. Exhale, bring those hands down, step the foot back, lower through chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. Send both hips to the left this time. Then from here, lift that right leg if you can, or stack both the feet, pick the side plank that works best for you. From here, either pivoting to your plank or just stepping that right leg all the way forward, then windmilling up to warrior two. Right toes point forward, left toes point to the left side of the mat. Next exhale, place that left hand onto the left leg. Inhale, right arm lifts up and back, side bend. And exhale, pivot so the right arm is on top of the right thigh. Left arm reaches over the front of the mat. Bring that left hand down, then the right hand, framing the right foot. And extend the leg, if you can, to pyramid. It's okay to keep a bend in that right knee. Deep, smooth breaths. Good. bring the left knee down to the mat inhale lift the arms up grabbing onto the elbows squeeze the glutes under and forward inhale to lengthen more exhale to go a little deeper into the lunge and on the next exhale bring the hands down enter your flow lowering through chaturanga inhale to upward dog 
and exhale to downward dog. From here, slowly walk the feet to the top of the mat, lifting that left leg as you get to the top and hook it behind the right leg. Inhale, lift up, grab on to the left wrist with the right hand and pull towards the right. You should get a deep side bend in the left side of the body. Good, bring both hands down, lift that left leg up. Inhale, enter your warrior three. Exhale, step it back to your lunge. Good. Find your positioning, then hook the left elbow on the outside of the right leg. If this is a little tricky for you, bring that left hand down to the mat. Good, bring both hands back down. Inhale, bring that right leg all the way up and back, opening into three-legged dog with the hip open. And exhale, bring that right knee right next to the right thumb and the right foot next to the left side of the hips. Lower down onto the forearms if you can, entering that juicy pigeon pose. Slow exhales as you open the side of the glutes and the leg. If you need some help with this one, bring a block or a cushion underneath the hips. And when you're ready, turn to face the left side of your mat. On the exhale, fold forward as far as you can into your middle splits, extending both legs to the sides. Try and keep the spine lengthened, and a little bend in the knees is okay as well. Good, face back forward. Step the foot backwards into downward dog and then walk your way to the top of the mat again. This time, hooking the right leg behind the left. Inhale, standing up, grabbing onto the right wrist and pulling it to the left with the left arm. Deep stretch in that right side. Good, bring those hands back down, lift the right leg up. Find warrior three, lifting the torso and the hands off of the mat. And step the right foot back into your lunge, hooking the right elbow on the outside of the left leg. Press down into the left leg, elevate. Bring both hands back down, step that left foot all the way up and back, opening the hips into three-legged dog. Then exhale, bring the left knee next to the left thumb, left foot on the right side of the hips. And relax the torso over the leg for your pigeon pose. Slow inhales and exhales fully winding it down now. Turn this time to the right, extending both legs out. Inhale and exhale to fold forward. Bending the knees or just staying up onto the hands if you prefer. Just make sure that spine is lengthened. Inhale, 
inhale, rise back up. And exhale, turn towards the front of your mat, bending the left leg, stepping it back to downward dog. Inhale, step to the front of your mat. Exhale, take a seat. Inhale again. And exhale, bow down forward for one more forward fold. Again, bending the knees if you need to. Not worrying about how the pose looks, just enjoying how it feels. It's fully relaxing into it. Inhale to lift back out and make your way on to your back. Place one hand on the chest and one on the belly. Take a few soothing inhales and exhales to finish off the practice. Thank yourself for moving your body, for taking this time for yourself today. And give yourself one more inhale and exhale to fully release. To fully be present in the moment. Inhale to lift up or stay there as long as you need, but we'll finish there. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time.